Hey everyone, Trackmaster Tahatchipi here. Sorry about the last video not exactly being Trackmaster related. I just needed to push something out because I was tired from the school day. But now school is chilling out, so I can hopefully push out some more updates and Trackmaster videos. So here's a couple projects that I should give you all updates on. Without further ado, let's begin with the big boy. The chassis itself has been in storage for a little bit, but I recently got some donator side rods that I'm gonna cut down and shorten to be the length of the actual wheelbase. I've also been testing them on the layout, and it turns out that they can indeed fit on the curves, which means this will be an accurate Trackmaster model. As for the body itself, here's how that's coming along. It's still pretty primitive, and this is likely how it'll appear until testing finishes and I can confirm that it's a good design. But in the meantime, I also have these HO scale big boy models, one by Riverosi and one as a plastic model by Revel that I'm using for reference. Speaking of HO scale, the HO scale stuff is coming along greatly and I'd be happy to update you eventually. Who knows, maybe next video will be HO scale themed. Back to the layouts however, there's been more road painted on finally. The only places I really have road right now is Caliente and Bealeville. Of course, I only got the paint down and didn't really smooth out the surface, so there's still plenty of potholes and gaps that I'll need to finish up before actually finishing the road. But for now, it's at least a nice basis, and you can get some pretty cool pictures of tiny cars. And as for the paint station, it's uh, still a pretty big mess, honestly. All shells here are currently on hold while I work on the lip. I'm sorry, my phone died here, and I was too lazy to repeat all the audio, so I'm going off of here. But anyways, the shelf is now being prepared to have dirt poured on and glued down. Currently, Mojave is slated to get dirt first because it'll be the easiest. And another thing I've been wondering is the era of the layout. As much as I love the 80s and 90s, I do want to make modern era solely because there's more reference for it. I've been struggling to find reference pictures for Tehachapi in the early 90s, so this has been a really slow process of trying to get all the buildings modeled. So I'd like to ask you all in the comments, what era would you like to be shown on the layout? Modern, which would be faster and easier to complete, or vintage? Of course, Southern Pacific and Santa Fe will still run regardless, I just want to see which era you'd like the scenery in, because I would like to remain like a solid era throughout the entire layout, as much as era mixing would be fitting for some walls and areas. I just don't really have fun with that. So please, tell me in the comments what era you'd like to see. Also, these shells are becoming a little out of date now, unfortunately, since I've passed 1000 subscribers. I thought about repainting them to 2000, but at this point I don't think I will, because these are gonna probably remain the milestone markers of when I first hit 1000. Although I'll think of something to do for either 2000 or 3000, or whatever comes next. Most likely, I'm gonna finally show off all the old shells that I've made in the past, so I'll be able to show you all how far I've come when it comes to Trackmaster modeling, because trust me, there is a lot. Currently, only the GS and one New York Central Hudson remains the only steam power on the layout, aside from Thomas every now and then. But more steam will be on the way with the completion of the big boy and chassis, including cab Fords. Also, one fun update is the rolling line to Hatchapi Pass map I've been working on is finally uploaded to the Steam Workshop and is free to download right now. It's still a work in progress, so a lot of areas aren't fully finished, but still, it's gotten to a point where I'm proud to publish it, and it will be updated as time moves on. Currently, the map is only between Bakersfield and Marcel due to storage space constraints, but I'd love to make a part 2 in the future when I have the time to work on it. So in the meantime, hopefully, if anyone watching has Rolling Line, they'd be interested in downloading and checking it out for themselves. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for bearing with me on this short update video, and yeah, I have nothing else to say. Stay safe, and have a heritage unit. Bye!